Uganda. Ugandan security forces block opposition office before planned march. The Ugandan military and police have cordoned off the headquarters of the nation's largest opposition party before an unauthorized demonstration scheduled for Tuesday, July 23, 2024. Former musician, actor, and presidential candidate and current president of the National Unity Platform, Robert Chagulani, alias Bobby Wine, posted on X that the NUP's office near the capital Kampala had been raided and, quote, turned into military barracks, unquote. Wine added, quote, several leaders have been violently arrested. They have now blocked the roads leading to the office, all because they fear the people, unquote. Wine maintains that his party is not organizing the protests, but supports them. Like in many African nations, citizens must obtain permission from the government to conduct demonstrations in Uganda. Nonetheless, one of the main leaders of tomorrow's planned demonstration Luis Alokin Opolose told AFP, quote, We don't need police permission to carry out a peaceful demonstration. It is our constitutional right, unquote. The planned march to Parliament is intended to address the alleged corruption and human rights abuses of the administration of President Yoweri Museveni. As mentioned by Club Mozambique, during a televised address on Saturday, Museveni warned his electorate not to go ahead with the planned demonstration. Ugandans are undoubtedly emboldened by the recent demonstrations by their neighboring Gen Z Kenyans who have successfully protested the planned tax hikes of the administration of President William Ruto which morphed into a demand for him to step down. But Museveni indicated that the situation on the ground in Uganda is different because, quote, we are busy producing wealth, and you here want to disturb us? You are playing with fire because we cannot allow you to disturb us, unquote. As stated by RT, the Uganda Police Force says it has chosen not to approve the planned demonstration because it, quote, would likely result in significant traffic congestion, disruption of trade, and disturbances to public order, unquote. 